come for me to talk to you about ET contact. And I'm gonna do this because I had a really crazy remembrance experience of an ET contact experience that I had about nine years ago. You know, the intention of this video and sharing is to yeah, talk to you about ET contact, just using examples from my experience and then really just exploring ways that you are currently or maybe in the future how you're going to be contacted by ETs and like really just developing that relationship um, because it's a wild ride <laughs> and it's, it's, it's just great fun, it's just it's amazing. So hopefully you've already watched, um, I've got some other videos on channeling um, which is, you know, the same, but I'm gonna talk more specifically about like ET contact and what that actually means. So yeah, just this really interesting experience I had about nine years ago when I was lying in bed. So I was kind of lying down sideways in bed. So I'm gonna basically tell you this example from my perspective and then from the ET's perspective as well. So from my perspective, I was lying in bed and I opened my eyes and right before me, there was a little gray alien. I would say maybe like four feet, if that. Um, Cause I was lying in bed and he was kind of eye level with me. And it was, you know, the most vivid, uh, real being was there in front of me. And my instant reaction was like terror. I was terrified <laughs> and my experience of it was that I was lying, you know, down, I opened my eyes, I saw that being, that grey being in front of me and all I can remember is just these huge black eyes, just these huge black eyes, you know, it was very, very clear to me that that was, you know, a, a grey alien in front of me in my bedroom. And um, yeah, so my experience was that I, I woke up and I, well, my eyes opened and I just froze. So if, if you've ever experienced like sleep paralysis, you know, when you're awake, but your body can't move, you're absolutely frozen and it's very scary. I'm gonna go into that later, but that's like exactly what this experience was. Uh, just like absolutely filled with terror, couldn't move. I was completely frozen. And I think the terror just kind of got so great that um, it, I was like just weirdly like snapped out of it in a sense. Yeah, like just, but it, it felt like forever that I was frozen and it felt like forever that I was just staring into this being's eyes. Anyway, so that happened and I just very much, you know, wrote it off. And I know loads of people have these experiences where they meet aliens and there is a being there and you know, it's in like a sleep paralysis state or like a lucid state. Um, and I think a lot of people write it off. I just wrote it off. I just wrote it off as, as, a, as a lucid dream or and it's just a paranormal experience I couldn't explain. I just completely wrote it off. Anyway, so what, you know, I've been doing a lot, a lot of contact work. Um, a lot of the work that I do is contact work. And I'm going to talk to you in more detail about um, my other beings that I channel and my other guides and, and things but what I wanted to talk to you about was that experience that I had with the grey alien the grey being and what I've kind of discovered and found out recently is his perspective of what actually happened so basically grey aliens and grey beings they have had an experience in their civilization, in their lifetime, where, you know, their kind of timeline of evolution, where they completely cut themselves off from their emotional body. So the greys were very, very mental and they chose to kind of push down their emotional bodies and focus on a more intellectual way of existing, right? And um, eventually, you know, they cut their emotions off completely. You know, this meant that they couldn't reproduce because, you know, how can you reproduce and create other life, create life if there's no love? You, you can only create, you know, life if there's love. So they couldn't reproduce. They um, carried on using their mind to help fix the problem. So they never 
kind of gave in to the, the, the absolute fear and terror and sadness of their impending extinction. So they, they just, they just were so focused on getting out of this, you know, existential crisis using their mind. So they like went underground and they started cloning and they just became the greys. But again, this is so, so generic. Like there's literally tens of thousands of species and there's just so many stories and timelines and stuff. But anyway, I'm just being generic to kind of help explain to you their, their perspective. So, and es essentially, there's a, spe there's a species of grey beings who kind of came from that sort of timeline. And they also came from a planetary existence, like a solar system, where they had loads of suns. And they had loads of suns, which meant that they didn't really sleep that much so they didn't dream so these kind of two experiences they they basically evolved so you know they they didn't have you know they don't really have an emotional body they don't really have any emotions they're not they're not empathetic in any way they do they only just use their mental their mind and they didn't really dream and dreaming is so important like that dreaming is literally like completely connecting with the with the cosmos and getting all these messages and downloads and you know connecting with your spirit and stuff is so important to dream so on their evolutionary path they didn't dream and they were cut off from their emotions okay so what they do what some of these greys do a lot of these greys do um is they <laughs> this is so funny they stand in people's bedrooms and watch them dream yeah, I know. It's fucking crazy. And they have, they have no understanding that that's weird. They don't they don't think of it as intrusive or weird because they just don't have that level of consciousness because they evolve differently. So to them, you know, so to so his perspective, this being who is in my bedroom. So because I'm I'm naturally like high frequency, you know, like I'm very very connected. You know, I work with inter-frequency beings um, and I see myself as a, um, a higher frequency being who kind of like came into this earthly body to just hold, hold frequency and just, and just share, um, you know, some light in this world, basically, some information. So I was kind of in this, in this lucid state where I'd like woken up and seen, and I've just seen, I've been able to see this being because I'm kind of, I'm on that frequency way where I believe in, in grace. I believe in them, even that, at that point nine years ago. I totally believed in them. So I was in that frequency state where I would be able to see one and encounter one if it came into my existence, which it did. So as I opened my eyes and I saw this gray being, the initial reaction that I had was was so, so, so scared. I was absolutely terrified. And then from his point of view, he instantly picked up on my fear because these beings are, they're so, they are more highly conscious than us. Um, they have more consciousness. So they are operating at a higher frequency. So my emotional reaction would have really hit him hard and would have really affected him um, massively. So his response to my to my terror and fear reaction was to freeze me, right? So he just like froze time because he was just so, he was so scared that I was scared. So we like, so it just went into freeze mode and that's why I was, I had this paralysis. You know, we just, Eventually it ended and you know, he just left and I woke up and I was in waking, waking consciousness and then you know, he wasn't there But yeah, so how fucking crazy is that? <laughs> it's really uh, It's an intense experience and I wanted to share that with you because It's it's, it's gonna it's getting important for us to, to share more about these ET contact experiences and um, what they mean and most importantly just really seeing it from the other beings perspective um and just really understanding these beings and loving these beings um because it's just it's the most important thing you know just i 
I just have a, so much love for the greys. I've always felt really, really connected to the greys. And, you know, after that experience and learning about, you know, what actually happened, that there was actually a, a beautiful grey being there just watching me sleep because they just have no, you really have to step into their point of view and, you know, to just kind of really understand empathetically, um, you know, their kind of longing, their yearning to learn from humans about everything, about dreaming, about love, about emotions. That's why they've come back you know, to this time and this space so that they can learn from us. And, and we are helping them just as they're helping us, right? It's just this beautiful two-way thing. So yeah, I just have so much love for that being who came into my existence. Like that really changed the course of my life in all honesty. I've like fully, fully, fully believed in aliens more than I ever did after that experience. And, you know, had way more experiences after that um, with, you know, ET contact. Um, but that was my first major one. The, really, the main message really here is to um, just really think about and integrate those paranormal extraterrestrial experiences that you're having. You know, just, I'm, I'm happy to talk about it as well if you wanna reach out to me and we can help, you know, hash it out. Yeah, I'm super interested in it. You know, helping you connect to the cosmic realms is my just forte, it's my passion, it's what I love, so. Yeah, I hope that me sharing one of my first really impactful ET experiences is going to help you understand um, your you know, relationship to ETs uh, and any experiences that you've had. So yeah, it's, 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 all, it's all really fun. And again, so much love to the greys. Um, please come back and visit me. <laughs> I really don't mind if you <laughs> would want to watch me sleep. It is very weird though. Um, but you know, they're learning. The greys are learning. Um, it's just so innocent. It's just such an innocent thing for them. You know, they just they just don't have the perspective or the frame of reference to think, oh, that's intrusive or that's weird. They just don't know. Um, it's just really beautiful to just learn more about them um, and integrate that into, into our experience. Yeah, so little, just a little anecdote for you. Um, thank you so, so much. Uh, I'm going to come back and talk more to you about ET contact experiences and, you know, what that might mean for you and how you can help it and integrate it into your spiritual evolution. Okay? Love you. Bye.